Good morning, students, and welcome to the part two of chapter two, whole numbers, standard six. Now we'll be writing properties of whole number for. Addition. Now, properties of whole number for addition. Our first property is closure property. So, closure property is sum of Two whole, two whole numbers is a whole number. So this is a plus zero. A plus b is equal to c. Ready? A comma B comma C are whole numbers. Now A plus B plus C is equal to C, where A B C are whole number means two plus four is equal to six. Two four and six. If you add any three any two numbers, you get the answer as whole number only. So that is the closure property. Second property is commutative property. So commutative property here in commutative property. A plus B is equal to B plus A. Means numbers can be added in any order. So here if I say 6 plus 7 is equal to 7 plus 6, both the answers will be 13 only. So 6 plus 7 is equal to 7 plus 6, both the answers will be 13. Third property that is associative property. Now here, A plus B, bracket plus C is equal to, here you can write, two numbers can be added in any order, here A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C, and now I change the bracket, now we see, three numbers, can be added in any order. Now if you see here, 3 plus 4, if I put bracket to 3 plus 4, plus 5 is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5. Now here if you see, 3 plus 4 plus 5. Now 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Now if you add this bracket first, 4 plus 5. 
that is 4 plus 5 is equal to 9, 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. So the answer will be 12 only. In any order if you add, if you add these both numbers first, or the first and last number, or any order if you add. For last property, that is fourth property, that is addition of zero. Or we can call it as additive identity. Now addition of zero, zero can be added to any number. The result is same number. Now here, yeah, 0 can be added to any number, means a plus 0 or 0 plus a is equal to a. For example, 3 plus 0 is equal to 3, 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. So when 0 is added to any number, the answer is that number only. Now we are going to properties of whole number for multiplication. Now our first property is same as addition. That is closure property. Now as you have done in addition, when three whole num when two whole numbers are multiplied, the third answer is also a whole number. Means A multiplied by B is equal to C. Where A, B, C are whole numbers. For example, 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. 3 comma 4 comma 12 are whole numbers. Means when you multiply two numbers, the third answer is also a whole number. Second property. Commutative property. The so commutative property for addition was okay, a plus b is equal to b plus c. So here in multiplication we are multiplying, not adding. So that is why a multiplied by b is equal to b multiplied by c. If you see here, 5 4 za is same as 4 5 za. So both the answers are 20 only. 5 4 is a 20, 4 5 is a 20. So similarly, numbers can be multiplied, two numbers can be multiplied in any order. Third property <coughs> Associative property. Same as A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. Now here if you see A and B are in brackets, here B and C are in brackets. Now if you see 2 multiplied by 3 in bracket multiplied by 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. Now here if you multiply 2 3s are 6 into 4. 
टू मल्टी थ्री फोर जा ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू टू ट्वेल्व जा ट्वेंटी फोर सो एसोसिएटिव मीन्स थ्री नंबर्स कैन बी मल्टीप्लाइड in any order so this is the associative property when you are writing commutative property two numbers can be multiplied in any order here you are writing two numbers can be multiplied in any order closure property when two whole numbers are multiplied the resultant is also whole number now we are going on to the fourth property for multiplication that property is called as distributive property now distributive property for addition now for multiplication over addition now if you can see here a multiplied by b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c for example Twenty eight multiplied by one zero two. When we multiply twenty eight directly to one zero two, instead of doing that, what we are doing is twenty five multiplied by hundred plus two. We distribute this number into two. So that we do is twenty eight multiplied by hundred. Plus twenty eight multiplied by two is equal to twenty eight multiplied by hundred. You know two eight zero zero plus twenty eight two zero fifty six. Now if you add two eight zero five. Two eight five six. So this is the distributive property for multiplication over addition. Now same way we have distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Now let's take another example. Now here instead of plus it is minus. So here also same thing. Now let's take example as ninety eight. So it will be hundred minus two. Now twenty eight multiplied by hundred. Minus twenty eight multiplied by two. You know two thousand eight hundred twenty eight to the fifty six. Now two thousand eight hundred minus fifty six is two thousand seven hundred forty four. So in this way, this is distributive property for multiplication over subtraction. Other was distributive property of for multiplication over addition. So same way both are same, but the difference is minus here and it is here. Our next topic is multiplication with. 
0. Now, you know, table of 0. 0, 1 is 0, 0, 2 is 0. Similarly, a multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. So, any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 or 0 multiplied by any number is equal to also 0. So, multiplication with 0, the answer is 0 itself. Our last property that is multiplicative identity. Now, like additive identity, additive identity was a plus 0 is equal to a. Means whenever the number is added with 0, you get a. Similarly, in multiplicative also, any number multiplied with 1 is equal to same number. So, so here we have... Whenever the number is multiplied with 1, the result is the same number. So, 1 is the multiplicative identity where 0 is additive identity. So, that is why 12 multiplied by 1 is equal to 12. 12,384 multiplied by 1 is equal to 12,384. So that is all in this part of the video. Next, take home assignment. We will continue with the home assignment. Home assignment is NCRT textbook of class 6, chapter 2 whole numbers, refer page number 40, exercise 2.3, question 2 and 3. So you have to do question 2 and 3. In second question, there are six sub-questions and in third question, there are four questions. So, total ten questions.